What's up, every guy, everyone? <laughs> I almost said every guys. What the hell? Um, I have NBA cards. If you're not aware, you know it's so hot in here. I'm sorry. I gotta turn on the fan. Okay, there we go. All right. So I'm gonna have to talk a little louder. Um, I'm gonna just grab a handful of cards and review them all. So yeah, let's go take a shit. Actually, I do want to review this Latrell Sprewell card and this card that does have a signature on it. Okie dokie. Let me set up. Alrighty, so first we have Big Country Bryant Reeves. Uh, he's probably one of the best Vancouver Grizzlies ever, but that's um, really not saying much considering the Vancouver Grizzlies is probably like one of the worst um, teams in NBA history. Um, he averaged 13 points per game in the 95-96 season and 16 points per game in the 96-97 season. I really like the design of this card and it has a shiny little lens there and I enjoy it, you know, and I do like, I love their jerseys, okay? Next player is Danny Ainge. This was a card when for the like three years he played with the Sacramento Kings. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of like this card, you know. Um, it's just a basic card, you know. Uh, it says guard. He's a, he's a shooting guard. But I do like how it has his college record and his NBA record. So, yeah, um, I give it a 5 out of 10. Um, Michael Thompson for the Lakers. He played for the Showtime, sorry, he played for the Showtime Lakers. Uh, you know, this is just like the Danny Ainge, um, the NBA Hoops cards. They're just basic, and for some reason it says his full name, Michael George Thompson. Um, you know, it does have his college record. So, I gotta give it a 5 out of 10. And then they also have uh, coaches. That's clearly Dick Versace. Um, he was a coach for the Pacers. Um, he didn't do much at all. Uh, he only... He had a, a really good improvement here from 22 to 42. And uh, he had an okay coaching career. Okay, next person will be uh, another coach. It goes by the name of D Rick Edelman. Um, coach for the Trailblazers. Clearly a good boy. Um, I'm just I just want to show you. And then John Bagley. Um, no relation to Marvin Bagley. I'm assuming. Uh, well, that's nice. He he went to Boston College, and then he got drafted by Cleveland, went to New Jersey, and then he played for Boston. So he got to play for his hometown team eventually. Next player, oh, Latrell Sprewell choked his coach. Um, look at that. I love this flare, and the just this is a beautiful card. And as you see, it says Latrell Sprewell there. This was when he played for the Knicks, but... Oh, it has... Ooh, it's one of these NBA Transactions cards. And it has the old Warriors logo for um, all you new kids. That's the old Golden State Warriors logo with the Knicks. It's not focusing, sorry. And then I really like this in the back. It... It says why he got traded. Um, what? So they got John Starks, Chris Mills, and an old Terry Cummings. And this was January 21st, 1999. And he was picked 24th overall. So, yep, Latrell's pretty well. This one is another Golden State Warrior. Oh, wow. I have. Um. Chris Mullen. Chris 
Molen. Uh, I really like this card. I really like how it says like Chris and then Molen there. He played with, for the Warriors. This was their old team logo. I do like that. Um, and then he was a part of the TMC, as you see the little C on his jersey. Um, and then you can change it like that. It has his per 48 minute stats. Um, and then it says 30 points. He had the same rebounds as assists, I'm assuming. Uh, so yeah, that's I like that. And then this, uh, I have two Brent Berries. Uh, you know, sorry. Hit me up if you want me to trade one. I am looking for Steve Nash, Brent Berry, Rick Berry's son. Missed 23 games most due to three separate injuries. Led the team in assists off the bench. Uh, really? Okay, well, I thought... Is this the same Brent Berry I'm thinking of? The one who played on the Spurs and stuff, whatever. Um, but yeah, two Brent Berries. I do like the little lens flare there, you know. Um, and then this one. Um, Corliss Williams. Most of these guys are role players from back in the day. Um, it has a signature, which is nice, but obviously, you know, that's just printed in there. Um, and then it has the little rainbow flare. Uh, he played for the Sacramento Kings, and I do like this. It's uh, Williamson Corliss. And then it has his stats here. He played for Sacramento. And he only had 11 steals. That's pretty bad. Total. Uh. What? Oh. Ooh. Okay, okay. Alright, next up. We have. Maurice Cheeks. This man was no sm most known for playing in the 76ers, as you see him in the jersey. He played with uh, Moses Malone and Dr. J. And that big three, he was the third best player on their team. He averaged 17 points per uh, per 48 minutes, and then for oh, that's that's rebounds and assists added up. Okay, so he had yeah, okay, so that's cool. Yeah, I I like this card. It's a bit bland, but who cares? It's Maurice Cheeks. Next card will be, I'm trying to look for a good card, Rex Chapman. I have, I've, I think I might have seen this guy in 2K, you know, just a basic card, um, says his full name, he had two years in Kentucky, played for Charlotte, no one cares, just a role player. This next card, I really, it's a rookie card of Je Jeff Martin, when he played for the Clippers. Uh... Yeah, he was a small forward and shooting guard. He could switch. I did look up his Jeff Martin. Uh, he had three years at Murray State. Averaged 11, 21, 26, 25. And then in his rookie year, he averaged six points a game. Uh, okay, our next player. His name is... Manute Bull. Manute Bull. Tallest NBA player tied with George Mirasan. Um, no one really knows how old he is. Wait a sec. I take that back. As it says October 16th, 1962. Um, and this was 1990, so that means he was 20. He was 28 years old. Okay. All right, well, Manute Bull, tallest NBA player of all time. He could shoot threes, like, and he averaged, I want to see his block totals, block averages. And surprisingly, he, he had, um, uh, oh, that's in college, never mind. Okay, he averaged 22 points in college. He averaged, like, very mediocre numbers um, with the Warriors, and he also played in Washington, so that's nice. Next player, I really, really, really like this card. Um, 
It is Bob Sura. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. Isn't that just amazing? Collector's Choice. I really like that. And then it says on the back, sure, he can play both point, both guard positions, and also can fill at, hold up, small forward. His versatility allows the Cavaliers to provide matchup problems for many teams around the league. Sura elevated his play last season and posted career-high best averages of 9 points per game, 3 rebounds, and 4 assists. That's nice. That's a really nice card. I really enjoy it. Um, Tom Tolbert. I'm just going to let you, you know, and then here's his averages. Okay. He had five years in college. That's, I've never seen that. Who's the player who spent the most at college? Um, next up, we have Dan Marley. I used to say Majorle. Um, but, you know, I'm just going to call him Dan the Man. Uh, he, he was a good player. You know, he had five years in college with Central Michigan. Average 11 points a game. So, yep. Yeah. Just an average card. All right, next player is a really cool card. Is Charles Barkley when he played in Houston? Do you remember when they tried to make a big three with Akeem Olajuwon, Scottie Pippen, and Charles Barkley? Now, realistically, that sounds like an immediate championship team, but all these 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 guys were old, and the best player they had by him was. Uh, by like those four, fourth best player was Vernon Maxwell. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, I really like this card. It has a nice little swoovy thing through it. Um, good collectible if you like the Rockets. I don't really like. I'm a specific fan of any team, but I guess like if I had to, it'd be the Nuggets. Um, all right. Um, this is Antonio McDias. This is one of those NBA transactions cards. He went from the Denver Nuggets to the Phoenix Suns, and he's in a Phoenix Suns jersey. I like the lens flare, just like the Latrell Sprewell card. And it, um, uh, what, why, and when, so. And the next card is a StarQuest card. Theo Ratliff. I don't even remember this guy, really. I, I I recognize the name, Theo Ratliff. But yeah, I like the little font there. Um. Alright, next cards. I just have a bunch of these cards. Rod Strickland, he was a, isn't he a coach now or something? Rodney Strickland. Um. Okay, Ricky Pierce played for the Bucks. He got the Sixth Man of the Year award. That's nice. Okay, and there you go. There's the stats. I'm just Mark Price played for the Cavaliers, then went to Chicago, and I also have somewhere his Orlando Magic card. So that's nice. Uh, and then we got J.R. Reed. I I have no clue about this guy. He averaged ooh, 11 points per game as a rookie. Um, James Donaldson, I think I might have heard of this name. Uh, his career high as average is 11.8 when he played for the San Diego Warriors, which is now known as the Golden State Warriors. I have another one of these Charles Barkley kind of cards, except it's Kenny Anderson. I guess it's like good to do with teams that involve the color red. <clears throat> and I will get. Um, I want I want to say something real quick. Um, I want to get those little binders that have the little um, sleeves in them, and I want to have it for each team. So like, um, Purvis Ellison, he'd go in the Sacramento Kings one, and uh, Lambend Murray, yeah, would go in the Clippers, and Jeff Hornacek would go in the Jazz. Bam! You just saw these three cards. Nice little lens flare. Here, I'll show you the stats stories, you know, whatever. And then Hornacek. 
I, I like that little design. Okay, um, try and hurry up. Next player is Antonio Daniels, just an average role player. Uh, he averaged... Oh, he actually averaged 24 points per game in college. Never mind. So is this like a rookie card or something? I don't even know. Okay, um, next we got Paul Grant. I don't know anything about this guy. He's probably one of those guys who played... He played in the Timberwolves. Doesn't have any NBA stats. Um, I'm going to save the best for last. I have two really good cards, and they're both point guards. Um, we have... Willie Burton played for the Miami Heat. Um, this is his rookie. This is when he played. That's some really cool, like, stat thing. He graduated from Depressed High School. Depressed High School. Um, I'm joking. Alonzo Mourning on the Heat. Good player. And there's his stats. Alan Houston played for the Knicks. I like that little lens flare. And then you have his stats and the college and all that jazz. Um, we have Ron Rothen, Ro Rothstein. Um, just a coach for the Miami Heat. Really, I don't know him. Um, Todd McCormick. I think he's in 2K. He might be for the old Rockets team or whatever. Oh, he had 16 points for 48 minutes. That's still really bad but all right Craig Ello he's in the only reason I know him is because he's on the all-time Cleveland Cavaliers card team what's so good about him he averaged 16 points in his rookie season wait what oh I'm sorry um his best year with Cleveland was the 8990 year and he averaged 13 Daryl Griffith for the Jazz Apparently this guy was amazing or something. Yeah, he averaged 22.6 with Utah in the uh, 85-86 season, I think. Uh, next card is Hershey Hawkins for the 76ers. I'm sorry, god damn it. Um, for the Supersonics. I like this. Um, and then it says little stats and like a little story. Um, and then we have Gary Trent. I might have heard of this name. Uh, he averaged 10 points a game with Portland in 98, 6, 7 season. Buck Williams. Uh, played for the Trail Blazers. There you go. There's his stats. And then I saved these two amazing cards for last. Uh, which one should I do more? I'll do this John Stockton one first. I really like it, but here's the thing. It's really thin, like, so I can bend it really easily, and I don't want to do that. Uh, he averaged 21 points. He had total assists. He had a total of 1,000 assists one year. Now we have Magic Johnson. This was his all-star card. Um, when he won the 